Egypt's declared three days of national mourning after at least 305 people were killed in an attack on a crowded Sufi mosque in Egypt's Sinai Peninsula Friday. Egyptian officials are calling it the deadliest terror attack in Egypt's modern history. On Monday, more than two dozen attackers wearing military combat uniforms detonated a bomb inside the mosque, then opened fire with machine guns on fleeing worshippers and set cars ablaze to stop people from being able to escape. Among the victims were at least 27 children. This happened on Friday. Officials are blaming the attack on a militant group linked to ISIS. This is Mohammed Abdel Fattah, the imam of the Rada Mosque, which was attacked Friday. Yesterday's sermon was on Muhammad, the prophet of humanity, and the week before that was on Muhammad, the prophet for mercy. I believe these are two issues that the entire world, whether Muslim or non-Muslim, need to implement — mercy, forgiveness, and humanity. A religion based on humanity will never condone violence or aggression such as this. Over the last year, ISIS-linked militants in Egypt have also repeatedly targeted Coptic Christians, bombing two Coptic churches and opening fire on a bus headed to a monastery within hours after Friday's attack. Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi appeared on television vowing revenge for the attack. Only minutes later, Egyptian warplanes carried out multiple airstrikes in the desert of the Sinai Peninsula. The military says they were targeting militants fleeing the attack will go to Cairo, Egypt, for more on the attack after headlines.